When the temperature outside feels perfect, you want nothing but the sun on your skin and a breeze blowing through your hair. All of this is possible thanks to EOS's sunroof. Can you imagine a convertible with a sunroof? Volkswagen did. The switch to operate is on the console. Press and release once to tilt the roof open. Press and release the switch once more and the roof opens completely. To slide the roof open, press and hold the switch. Release when it is open enough. To close the sunroof, just pull and hold the switch. There is a handy pinch protection feature that prevents the sunroof from closing if something is obstructing the way, like fingers for example. We have been studying wind noise and we have it down to a science. There is a German term, Wurmern. It means low wind noise. You can feel it sometimes, as well as hear it. The engineers at Volkswagen know this from studying other manufacturers and that's why we have designed the EOS to be able to help minimize Wurmern. To help minimize Wurmern, you do one thing. On EOS, you can raise the wind deflector in the front by pressing lightly on it after the sunroof is open. When you close the sunroof, the wind deflector closes automatically. Yeah, anyway, Wurmern. Point it out when driving in someone else's car. If you have an EOS, there are things you should know, yes. Like how to open the electric convertible hardtop. You do a few things and you listen for a few sounds. But there is a specific way to operate it that must be followed, always. Park the vehicle on level ground. Engage the parking brake. Secure the luggage compartment and make sure no objects are improperly stored. With the engine on, press and hold the control button in the center console to open the roof. Listen for the chime. That is the signal to release the control button. To close, you just lift and hold the control button again. Nothing to unlock or unlatch. We strongly suggest that you always activate the top with the engine running to conserve battery power. We designed the roof on EOS to be an engineering marvel. EOS owners are talkative, yeah? Yeah. So we make it easier for them to talk with the top down. So we custom engineered a windscreen that helps quiet the interior when driving. You can place this windscreen in the back and you can do it yourself. First, unfold the windscreen and connect the two sections. Hear and feel the click. You are halfway there. Secure the tabs in the windscreen in the notches in the back seat. Align and release the spring-loaded locking bolts on the ends to the holes in the side panels. Flip the screen up. You can even leave it up when the convertible hardtop is closed. There you are. To remove the screen, just do everything in reverse, but be sure to secure the spring-loaded latches before removing the screen to avoid scratching the interior. 
Let's take a look at some features that can make the most of your drive. We designed the cruise control on your Volkswagen so that you can operate it without your eyes ever leaving the road. This is why the stock is within such easy reach. To activate cruise control, move this switch on top of the stalk to the on position. When you reach the speed limit, toggle the button at the end of the stalk to the set position by pressing briefly and releasing. You are now cruising. The little cruise light located in the instrument cluster is on now and your foot is off of the gas pedal. If the speed limit increases and you want to cruise faster, toggle and hold the resume switch until you reach the new speed limit. You will feel the vehicle accelerate. Beschleunigen Sie. In German this means accelerate. Suchung also means accelerate, but uh, in Klingon. To slow down, just toggle and hold the set button. The vehicle slows down. Then release when you are at your lower speed. To deactivate cruise control, just depress the brake pedal. When you do this, the green cruise light shuts off. Then driving good music is essential, yeah? and satellite radio is most entertaining. But sometimes things can get in the way of the signal. Things like tunnels or tall buildings. This is normal. After all, your satellite radio is receiving that signal from outer space. Just be patient. The signal will find you again very shortly as you drive. You can always switch to FM, but that's fewer stations. Remember, satellite radio follows you everywhere. You can experience a wide variety of satellite stations for free using your limited, complimentary subscription. When you leave your dealership, the subscription should already be activated. But if it isn't, just call Sirius at 1-888-539-7474. They will hook you up. Here at Volkswagen, we know you like the MP3s and the iPods. We are also hip to that noise, dog. You can play an MP3 player or iPod through the auxiliary input in the center console. Here's how. Connect the MP3 player or iPod to the multimedia jack with the auxiliary cable. Press the CD button on the radio until the external audio device is shown in the display. Turn on your external device. The sound will be played through the speaker system. Here's another related but significantly different feature on the Volkswagen models with the optional new touchscreen navigation system. If you have the optional MDI auxiliary package, you plug in the iPod and you use the touchscreen to access your media. This applies, of course, to any iPod that is Generation 4 or newer. All you do is press the media hard key, select Media In, you are connected to your iPod. There's also a 20 gigabyte hard drive for MP3 media storage. Again, the media hard key will get you started. That SD slot is not for coins. 